Welcome back. Twisted garlic ginger butternut squash, dynamite chili, citrus glazed carrots. Sound tempting? Certainly better than saying, eat your veg. But a team of US researchers have found that when they gave vegetables fancy, indulgent names, sales went up by 25%. So, let's talk health by stealth and how we're influenced when it comes to taste and food. Let's uh, talk for the next few minutes with Jonathan Gabay, a brand psychologist. We're also joined by Barry Russell, who's a food marketing expert who campaigns to get kids eating more fruit and veg, and chef Joel Gazdar, who runs the Wild Food Cafe, a purely vegetarian cafe here in London. Uh, my favourite story of the day, so uh, welcome all three of you. Jonathan, uh, yeah. I, I mean this story, this must ring bells with someone like you because how you describe food Absolutely. is critical, isn't it? Absolutely, it, it, it is critical. If you just describe f food from just a pure health point of view, what happens in terms of hormones from a psychology point of view is that you'll eat it, but you might, you, you'll still feel hungry. So what you need is something descriptive. Now I started off as a copywriter, mm. okay, <laughs> and so the sorts of, you know, expressions we're talking about, aromatic, delectable, delightful, exquisite. I mean, instead of saying courgettes, okay, I just wrote something down here, instead <laughs> of saying courgettes, what about extra delicious, slow roasted individual spirals of courgettes? <laughs> it's just like, it oh, works. I want it now. <laughs> See, it's got him going already. Barry, now, you know, everyone with kids watching this will know the battle that everyone has to try to make them eat uh, uh, fruit and vegetables. I mean, how you sell it is absolutely critical for, for getting kids to engage. It's, uh, yeah, we're working with a project called the Great Fruit and Veg Adventure. So the founder of it, Max, has motorbiked on a Triumph motorbike from London to Cape Town. And he spoke to 5,000 children over 16 countries on his journey and is now back in the UK educating our little kids around the country. And it's amazing when you go into schools and you have... We had a, a talk in our local school where we had Max come in with his motorbike and we had a junior giraffe So you had the health benefit and the excitement of the adventure, but then you gave every child an apple and they left very happy, if a little hyped up by the motorbike. Joel, look, my desk, this is all stuff that you have brought in. Thank you so much. I'm going to hopefully taste a bit of it uh, in a minute. But, uh, I mean, this is meat and drink for you, mm -hmm. essentially, if you don't mind the pun. But, uh, I mean, how much do you have to fight against that basic notion that vegetables are boring, they're bland? Yeah, that is the basic notion. That's the, the notion that I grew up with. But it's it's so easy to make it fun. You do it, making it beautiful, making it sound beautiful, yeah. making it feel appealing, putting the joy in there, having all these great ingredients to work with that are so colourful. So, whisk me through what you brought in for me. Okay. Well, we'll start at dessert. Off to my favourite place to start. You know, flip things on their heads. This is called a cosmic blueberry cheesecake. And I don't know if it shows up on the cameras, but the cheesecake bit is actually blue, and it's a natural blue, not an artificial food colour. And that comes from an ingredient called blue spirulina. Um, you probably can't see on the cameras. It's a light blue, but inside we've got wild blueberries, and that's just crazy. A few delicious. orders, my ear going in for there that already. Yeah, Whiz me through quickly Great. some of the others. And just to let you know that there's there's no cheese or dairy in that cheesecake, and the crust is uh, you know is a non-wheat, non-grain. It's made out of uh, nuts and dried fruit, mm. so uh, leaves you feeling extra light. And apart from that, it's secondary to the fact that it's delicious and it looks beautiful. Well, we talk about sort of just describing it in a certain way, and that's sort of the part of the psychological trick, but. Also critical is actually making it perhaps taste differently. So it's not just boiled carrots mm -hmm. or all the sorts of things that perhaps people recoil from. That is is part of the mix here, not just describing it in a fancy way. Absolutely. But at the same time, the me meal could be ruined to the same meals by just describing it differently. No matter if it was the most exquisitely pro produced plant food mm. grown so tell by me a gardener. Quickly then tell me the names of the other things, so okay. if it is so important. So this is a wild pizza. Essentially, it's a pizza, but the only thing to, that's common to people from a pizza in there is the tomato. The base is made from uh, pureed butternut squash and almond. And then the cheese is a pine nut cheese. And then the next dish over, we're calling that starstruck uh, buckwheat tartar, so it's uh, a made of buckwheat. My goodness, this must, must take hours for you to actually come up with the name. No, Jonathan, you're trying to get in. Yeah, because when you, I'm going to go back to the beautiful, beautiful dessert, okay? With the, yeah. When you said the word cosmic, I'm looking at it from a psychological point of view, yeah. And it's also, I, I, Chef, I'm going to ask you actually, it's not just the name of mm -hmm. the cosmic. What I would do is like, it's something that when you're eating it, you feel something which is something to do with astronomical or something or something pops or fizzes or whatever it might be. Is yeah. it true that that kind of sensation also makes it interesting? Absolutely. 
Yeah? Yeah. And I think that that's what we need to do as well. Well, that's what I was going to ask you about, because part of a lot of this is about indulgence. How, how mm. important a lever, how powerful is totally. that, do you think? Absolutely, because the thing is, is that, again, all the research shows this, that if you just, you know, describe it as healthy food, full stop, and that's it, it's not, there's no experience, there's no, oh, I want to try this it out. It sounds too serious. Exactly. It? it takes the fun out of it, and we all, our first food memories are as a kid, and we get really excited, and these words and sensations are powerful, and in us for the rest of our and, lives. And that's why, and that's why, what we've got to do is uh, use these adjectives, yeah, and get people really excited about the cosmic or the starburst or whatever it's you're going to... It's the best way to get kids excited absolutely. about Absolutely. Well, you say that, Ryan, you're absolutely right, because this, we, I talked about the 25%, mm -hmm. but actually they did this in categories, and for foods that had health advice on it, uh, these particular foods beat them in terms of sales by 41%. Yep. But nobody now, wants to be preached to, so they actually... They don't, but then when you think of other yeah. educational messages, like five a day, does it perhaps yeah. explain why messages like that struggle? Yes, I think so, definitely. And I think kids, they want to get excited about food, and it's giving them the wherewithal, whether that's ed through education, back in the kitchen, or just getting them to try different foods. Different so it's no foods. good saying to them, eat this, it's better for you. No, I think if you preach, I know as I've got three children, and if I preach to them as to what they need to eat or drink, they don't listen to me. So I think it's education and making it fun, Absolutely. using exciting words. To make, like if I gave my three daughters a cosmic dessert, I know it would go. Exactly, especially the, the, the sparkle and the fizzle stuff. But can I just speak? And oh no, you know, it's like we've got to, you know, cut back and all the rest of it, eat healthy foods and just do the straight sort forward stuff. I think with just the use of adjectives, m mums making the food look really yeah. more interesting, you know, people, this, this mindset, people can start saying, actually, this is fun. In fact, not only is it fun, it's also good for me. Vi, I wanted to ask you a, a different question because you, you see a lot. You need to say to kids, if you're trying to say to kids, look at veg, they are good and they taste I nice, if you're secretly trying to do it, I think do you undermine your own case? I don't think you undermine your own case. I don't think anyone can have too much fruit and veg. So I think if you do health by stealth, and I am guilty of putting extra veg into pasta sauces. absolutely enthusiastic each one you spent ages trying to describe it you're preaching to the converted for involved in planting the seed even if they hate broccoli if they plant the broccoli yeah. uh, and then they harvest the broccoli